I was when I was 17 I was for one year an exchange student in France I come from Norway and I was really asking my parents can I go one year to France and um, and that was kind of a special year a, bit, a little bit lonely and uh, I did a lot of reading and I also started writing so I wrote a lot of diaries about whatever you know people I met and films I saw and books I read and just thoughts and so from 17 until 21 I wrote like this much <laughs> with diaries it's many many thousands of pages and that was my writing school in a way so after that it was very easy to write my first novel I was writing something that was important for me and I was writing it in a language that's very accessible and easy uh, to to reach in a way to understand and uh, I was thinking that people my age I was maybe 25 26 they would understand it and they would like it and I thought the journalists, you know, and the academics and others, they would say, no, no, this is <laughs> too stupid or too childish or whatever. And, and it didn't happen. Everyone just embraced the book and it was translated into a lot of languages very quickly. So it's, uh, for me, it was a wonderful <laughs> story. It opened a lot of doors and allowed me to continue writing. I feel that it's about thinking about modern society and how to escape it or the need to escape it even though you you might maybe you have everything you need but you don't have this you know peace of mind which is the most important thing so my main character he leaves his home his wife and his kids and um, connects with an animal he becomes friends with this animal and just stays in the forest trying to think about you know what's yeah what's what's important and what's not i'm not very familiar at all with turkish literature only you know the mostly oran pamuk i've read a few books of and i like him very much but uh, apart from that i might have read others but i'm not even sure i couldn't mention them. <laughs>